confidence be infectious for Kansas, or will the crowd help carry Nebraska to victory here in the fourth? It's again a must-win situation for Kansas to force a fifth set. Nebraska will open up with the first point. Katie Rolfson, 12 kills. Amber's got three of them to go along with three blocks. The freshman, Michaela Fecky, with nine kills on 24 swings for Nebraska. Nice up by Wade. And the Huskers will go up two zip. Kelsey Payne with 16 kills to lead the way for Kansas so far tonight. Really going to Payne again, elevates and scores. Holly? John Cook of Nebraska asked his team to be better terminators at the net. He said, look, they're getting a lot of low passes. Their setters are setting short to the net. He said, we need to be up higher, really sealing off that block. Got it bounce right back. She'll go again. Turn her way one more time. Payne got it down in front of Hall. And Payne completely that matchup at the net. Two big touches and then going higher and putting the ball over. In fact, he got a little impatient by sending that ball over and giving Payne an opportunity on offense. Nicely executed. Bill Rolfson, wait, got a piece of it. The tip, and it's wide yeah. by Payne. What an up by weight, though. And more blocking help. Remember in the previous set, we saw a play in the middle of the court, and Kansas only had one blocker up. That time, they had two. Justine Wangarantes. Good block there by Fecky. Got up and in the back. Maybe Ralston can't put it down. How about Kelsey Payne? No. Hunter was there defensively, and the net move, somebody violated, it's Nebraska, and a point for Kansas. I think they're looking at Anna, uh, Katie Rolfson, as John Cook looks on, along with his assistant coach, Danny Busboom Kelly, who was a member of that 2006 national championship team. Amber Rolfson, she was actually on the concourse working the concession stand that night as a youngster. And now she helps break the attendance record. I like how Coach Cook decided to give her a little breather at the end of that third set. And she's right back in looking for a stop here. Contacts the ball so high that even if everything's not lined up, it hits the tape, the blocks. Timing is off a little, she gets it to the floor a lot. Hitting over 500 on 30 swings now. On the overpass, Susan couldn't do much with it. We'll get a better swing at it here, coming around the back. She wants it again. And the slide down this time. Beat Wong Arantes. That's so encouraging when you heard it. When a setter hears her hitter calling for the ball, especially hungry because the first set wasn't so good, she got a better one on the second try. Ooh, somebody netted. No, they didn't call it. Looked like Becky might have netted. That was a missed opportunity there for Havili. Sure was. Great serve by Kansas. Forced a very poor pass by Nebraska. Because one of her great strengths is blocking. Now she gets to do a ton of it for the 
Nebraska. Service error, point Kansas. She's averaging about 1.6 blocks per set. Feasting on opposing outside hitters. Both the sisters were top 10 recruits, part of the number one class in the country. Parents Mark and Teresa, both were player of the year at one point during their careers in high school. Both have been All-Americans at Nebraska and now together trying to get a fourth national championship for this proud Husker program. This match, the Jayhawks were not doing a very good job of lining up on that slide. This time, Susie working hard to get over there and be a second blocker. Put them in some trouble. Good work by the middle blocker for Kansas. Who looks to haul for the kill? They actually had a pretty good block, block up on that play, but a very strong swing by Hall off the left hand, the outside hand of the end blocker, Doc. Kelly Hunter, the sophomore to serve. Over on two, Avili. She's mixing that in just enough to frustrate. You can even see the Nebraska defenders hit that ball really high off out of frustration there, Juan Arantes did. They gotta read that better. Service error from Havili. Those are mounting now for Kansas. Of course, Kansas always happy to have Kelsey Payne back in. She's at left front now. And the ace! And that may have been going out. is if you don't know, you play it. Wade tried to play it, but that was a very well-placed serve in the corner. 40th eighths of the season for Annika Albright. Another tough serve for Kansas to deal with. Here comes Becky. Got it! And that's one of her favorite things to do. She got the kill, but she immediately points right at her setters, so they don't give enough, they have enough credit, her passers and her setters. So she points and just says, thank you for putting up a great ball. That's an old Dean Smith at North Carolina. Say thanks to the guy or the girl that got you the ball. Oh, if they win this fourth set, they are into the final. Kansas needs to win a fourth and a fifth to get to their first championship match. Kelsey Payne gets the kill. She didn't even really get an approach on that. Yeah. Poor pass, poor set, jump up, put it down, 20 kills, 31 swings, hit 548. Kansas starts with her in the front row, and they want her to get as many trips across that front as possible. Kansas defender saying that landed out of bounds. Side. That 
violation on Kansas. When you look at the Kansas offense, you've got a couple of their prime hitters, their outside hitters, Dockery and Rigdon, hitting, they're both hitting minus. So they're so happy to have pain. The question is, when she goes out for those three rotations across the back, can they minimize the damage? They don't have anybody else to double figure kills to this point to help paint out. And you can see her checking out because her position goes to the backcourt. She won't come back in until three more flicks, until the team rotates three more times to get her position to left front. 30 inches on that last jump for Payne. Center up to block, and that was a mismatch. And you can hear her oh. screaming for the set that she ran, and also doing the point to her setter right after. So there's the kill, and there's the point. Thank you. Put me in a good position. Yeah. We heard all, all four of the teams that were here first talk about trust and how they've developed that trust and that chemistry over the course of the season. And it, you do see it at moments like that. That setter's got to trust it. This kid out here, this freshman playing in the, her first semifinal, knows what she's talking about, and I trust to get it out there, and she's going to make a play. And that's a great way to build it. When you're, you're a setter, you have to be looking at the ball. You can't be looking at yep. the hitter. When you hear somebody scream and go, no, she's ready. There's even a tone an intent in your voice that builds the trust that she can send it out there fast, high, and get a good swing. That's an important part of the hitter setter communication is even the intent of the inflection of your voice. Counts and serving. Hunter looking for the deep corner. Really got it across. Fee off the block. Point Nebraska. And this is where Kansas has to try to avoid the bleed. They don't have Kelsey Payne in the front row. She's out of the game, waiting until her position returns back in. Kansas immediately comes up short. Nebraska comes up with a point opportunity. With Payne out right now, Nebraska extending the lead to 16-12.